Hey, this is Jim Bergman with Redfish Instruments. I had a couple calls. Guys were asking about uh, uh, testing capacitors in the three to five microfarad range on the dual capacitors. They're having some trouble getting a, a good reading with capacitors in their load. So I want to show you a real quick fix for that on how to get a good reading. Really what it comes down to is you're drawing um, really milliamps of current when you get into the smaller capacitors. And so what happens is the meter just doesn't have the resolution uh, to measure at that range. So what I've got here is a 10 loop multiplier and all this is, is you just take a roll of wire, you wrap it around a can or something, go around 10 times, so you get exactly 10 loops because we're going to multiply the current times 10. So we clamp the meter around here, it just simply multiplies it out. And what you do here is we've got the power off the unit here. So I'm just going to come here and disconnect the fan lead off the capacitor, connect that to my fan. And then I'm going to go down here and tie this in back to the fan again. So all I'm doing is tying this in series. And then I'm going to clamp my meter around here. And I'm going to just take my two leads here. And I'm going to clamp them across the common and the fan terminal here so we can check the fan first. So what this does here, once I get this transferred across here, we'll turn the meter off and back to uh, KW. Instead of 30 by 3, if you look at my test configuration here, I set it up to 30 by 30 because I'm basically going to multiply it times 10. So this will allow me to test both sides. I hit continue, clear the existing data, and we'll go ahead and turn this to cool. So now, uh, once this system starts, we'll turn it to cool here. Give this just a second here. And once the system starts, what it's going to do is I'll get measure the fan and the hermetic. So right now I'm on the fan leg. You can see my back voltage here. Now this would be uh, 0.3 amps typically, but we have since we have a, a 10 times multiplier, it's, it's 3.35. You see my back EMF of about 300 volts. You can see my microfarad readings is right there at 29.7, 29.8, almost dead center. So this is perfect three microfarads. Right now, if I take this and move this over here, and uh, now I've got to move this over from common, and I'm going to go over to hermetic. So now I'm on common hermetic. Then I can take this 10 times loop out here and just clip on the purple lead here and then I can get my microfarad reading for my um, for, for my uh, hermetic side which is also 29.4 uh, just about perfect reading there right now let me just show you what happens here if we try this without it so I'm going to go back here and just go to tools and we'll, we'll change this to a, uh, a three microfarad so the yeah the bottom one's a fan we'll just take that guy off hit continue and yes so now is now's where I'm on uh, Hermetic and I can go to the fan. So this is my fan target. I'm going to move this back over to the fan for just a minute. So I get my back EMF off my fan. And I'll just take this and instead of clamping on the, instead of clamping on the, uh, oops, move this lead around here. Alright, so instead of going on the 10 loop multiplier, I'm just going to go in here and clamp around the single wire. So you can see here, if you look at that, how unstable that reading is. And it's simply because it's just too low, right? It's just too low. We're talking 0.35 amps, which is right at the threshold of what the meter will actually read. And so if you use that 10 times multiplier, it's going to give a much stable amperage reading, much more stable. And we're going to just be able to do that accurately every time. So what I'm going to do is have the guys do this. Just like we have the Hermetic, where we can tap on here and go 30 to 3. Right? What I'll do is have them add on here for the amps, one that'll say 10 times multiplier. When you tap that, it'll go times 10 or times 1. But that'll take us a couple days to get that worked into the software, but I just want to show you a workaround for now so you can get the reading under load without too much effort at all. This is Jim Bergman with Redfish. Thanks a lot for watching.